Hello everybody, my name is Jeffrey Macapinlac, aka Jeff Mac, and I'm here to talk about allowing whatever it is that you want to come into your life. So have you ever had that feeling of frustration when you're trying to force something to happen or force someone else to do what you want to do but you were not producing any results? You're just only getting frustration? On the other hand, have you ever had that feeling where you're just doing your own thing, minding your own business, and things were happening perfectly, things were happening with perfect timing? This is what I want to talk about. It's the idea that you need to allow whatever you want to come into your life, you know? You need to have certain beliefs, take different actions, but it's not always in our power to decide when and where whatever it is that we decide will happen. Um, if you just become willful and try to force what you want to happen, you're just creating resistance. So a personal story of mine um, that is related to this is the summer of 2010, I was in Singapore, I was hot, I was sweaty, I was tired, and basically I was there for business, but I was looking for spiritual inspiration as well. So into my fifth day, I was walking around the city trying to find spiritual inspiration. You know, I was trying to find someone to talk to. I was trying to find someone that would, you know, tell me. I was trying to approach people and say, what's spirituality? Can you help me? Can you tell me? But they were just trying to sell me food and products. I was looking for a sign or something, an event or a music to, to listen to and I didn't find anything, so I was just hot and tired, and I was like, forget this. So I walked back to my hotel, turned on the air conditioning, and I said, you know what? I don't need anybody else. I could do this on my own. First, if I need spirituality, I'll just create it and find it on my own. So I got my books, I got my writing materials, and I was going to reflect. So I sat down, started writing, um, started reading, started reflecting. After 30 minutes, nothing. Got no inspiration, nothing, no new ideas on spirituality. And I was like, you know what? I need to try harder. So I said, I'm going to read twice as much, I'm going to write twice as much, I'm going to reflect twice as hard, and after another 30 minutes, nothing. So I threw my book down, I was like, forget this, maybe spirituality isn't for me, it's still something I want, you know, but maybe it's just not for me to find in Singapore, and, you know, let's just give up on this whole idea. So I changed my clothes, I put on my running gear, put on my running shoes, and I said, you know what, I haven't worked out today, um, let's just go running, you know, run, get this frustration worked out, and just run this frustration off. So I, I exit my hotel room, turn off um, the air conditioning, get my room key, I'm all geared up. So I walk out into the hallway and there's two elevators. One to the left, there's already an older gentleman waiting for the elevator. To the right, there's no one waiting. So I go to the right elevator and I press a button to go down to the lobby. And my elevator opens up first, so it opens up and I enter in and I'm like, okay, I'm starting to stretch. I press the button for the lobby. And as the doors begin to close, the older gentleman comes and he puts his hand through and he says, Oh, oh, the elevator, I need to go down too. And he looks at me, just smiles, and he says, perfect timing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So he presses the lobby button, and I'm just behind, behind him waiting, and I'm just stretching, getting ready to work out, you know, you know, getting ready to run. And we, entered, we reached the, the lobby, and he, exits out, he exits out in front of me, and I just follow behind him. And he turns around, and he looks at me, and he says, young man, do you know anything about reflexology, yoga, meditation, spirituality? And my eyes were wide open. I feel like my jaw just dropped and I was like, oh my gosh. And I could only respond with a sincere smile and nod my head. Because I just was trying so hard to force spirituality to come to me. But the moment that I gave up doing that and just went about my own business and did my own thing, this nice gentleman came to me. And so I dropped everything I was doing and we had lunch together and I made a lifelong friend. We are in contact. And I found out that he's already had, he's had like 50 plus years of experience with spirituality so he's one of my good friends and I learned a lot from him he recommends books to me and people to meet places to go so I, I'm very grateful for that so similar with you you know whatever you're trying to you know accomplish allow it to come with you do the actions you need to take um, have the beliefs you need to have um, just allow it to come to you another quick story that I think is cute and cool to share is that um, it's also related is about this kitten about these cats so there's this kitten in, in, the, in the alley and he's just chasing his tail. I know you've seen kittens chasing their tails and this little kid is chasing his tail in the alley and this older alley cat sees the kid and says what, what are you doing? Why are you chasing your tail? And the little kitten says you know I just came from cat philosophy school and I learned that the most important thing for a cat is to be happy and number two happiness is located in our tail so I decided that if I force myself to catch my tail and I could get a grip on it and I could get an internal grip on happiness. I'd always have happiness if I could catch my tail and force it into my life. The older alley cat says, you know, 
I haven't had the same experiences and opportunities as you. I, hadn't, I didn't have a chance to go to cat philosophy school, but it's true. Happiness is the most important thing for a cat to be. And indeed, number two, happiness is located in our tails. But unlike you, I found that if I just go about my business and if I just do the things that are important to me, happiness just follows me wherever I go. I think that's beautiful. That's the same thing that I'm trying to say. Allow it to come to you. Do the things that are important to you and do not create resistance by trying to force whatever it is that you want into your life. So keep that in mind. Keep your head up. Continue moving forward. And I'll see you at the top.